for the opportunity uh, to present what Largo does and, and how we do it. Uh, we've been in this uh, business for quite a little while now, uh, basically startup operation. You know, we're happy to report that we are fully ramped up, uh, producing exceptionally well, and we'll get into that uh, more in, in just a moment or two. Obviously, a forward-looking statement of the publicly traded company. Here's really the, the, the gist of our company. Um, we are a, a very competitive primary producer of vanadium, and there are only three primary producers of vanadium in the world today. We have one of the highest known ore grade deposits in the world. That also then goes to one of the highest uh, concentrate grades, which is very important because the next step after beneficiation is chemical plant operation, and the higher that concentration, the lower your unit costs. So we're very lucky to have not only a very high ore grade deposit, but a very, uh, very good capability of creating a concentrate ore grade as well. We're one of the lowest cost producers of B205 in the world, vanadium pentoxide. And this is uh, something that we're very proud of. We have one of the, the highest recoveries of vanadium from the mine to the finished product in the world. Uh, and it really uh, talks, I think, to a large extent about the wonderful operations team and the, uh, the way that it works together as a team and the technical competencies that they bring to the table. We have a very high grade, long lived deposit and we're continuing to explore uh, that area more and more. We have about a 40 kilometer stretch of uh, known magnetic material. You know, we are uh, putting drill holes in the ground, quite a few last year and even more this year uh, to continue to prove out what that resource has available to us. But we think we'll be there for a very, very, long time. And of course, uh, vanadium is a pretty good space to be right now. Uh, the supply and demand fundamentals are all in favor of the suppliers, uh, and we'll go through the, the market conditions uh, for vanadium in just a moment. Safety is a very top priority. I, I don't think it would be appropriate if a mining company didn't talk about this, and you can see that uh, we are headed in the right direction, and we, we take a, an immense amount of time and effort to train our operators and make sure that not only are we doing things safely, but they're thinking safely, and they're thinking about their colleagues' safety as well. And it's a real cultural transition uh, that we've gone through in the company, and we're, we're actually showing very good success at this point in time. Just a, a little bit of information on the, on the corporate structure, and, and the point that I would probably emphasize here the most is the debt position of the company. It's currently at US $29.2 million. About a year ago, I would have been standing up here and, and showing you something closer to about $250 million uh, U.S. So the company has been exceptionally focused on uh, reducing its debt, and in fact, on or before June 1st of 2019, Largo plans to be debt-free. Uh, so we're very proud of what we've accomplished there. We've done what we said we're going to do, and we're going to make that last, uh, that last debt reduction occur before June. So what is vanadium? And, and I think most people think of vanadium as being associated with the steel industry. Uh, just a little bit of vanadium added to, to steel can significantly increase the yield strength of, of that steel. And so it is a very common ingredient uh, to add to steel production. And, and as you can see here, about 91% of the vanadium produced in the world today is actually used in the steel industry. What, what we're focused on in, in Largo is not just the steel industry though, because Largo produces a very high purity vanadium product. And there's really only two companies in the world that produce uh, this high purity material in any substantial quantities, uh, Largo being one of those. And those high purity applications are shown, uh, it's the four and a half, the three and a half, and the 1% in the donut to the right in terms of high purity consumption. And this is where Largo is very focused as a company in terms of getting sales into these applications. Um, largely because there aren't many producers of high purity material. And secondly, um, you can increase your revenue for no additional cost by selling the material into these high purity applications. There can be anywhere from a dollar to uh, sometimes upwards of three to four dollars a pound more by selling your product into these high purity applications, uh, largely su uh, supply and demand driven. Skip this slide go to uh, the production type because this is really uh, a, to a large extent what's driving the supply and demand issues in the Vanadium industry. You 
you see in the, in the upper circle here that 72% of the vanadium produced in the world today comes from what's called co-product slag. And that co-product slag is a very inelastic supply. And that's because it, it results from an iron ore deposit that's being mined for iron ore. But the Chinese and the Russians have figured out how to take the parts per million uh, vanadium in that iron ore body, uh, run it through an initial blast oxygen furnace, pump a little extra oxygen into the system, and it immediately takes that extra vanadium out of that uh, iron ore and gets it into the slag that they find at, at the, in the uh, blast oxygen furnace. They then take that slag, send it to their subsidiary, and they use the exact same chemical process that everybody in the world uses to convert that slag into a sellable B205 or ferro vanadium product. But it is very easy and safe to say, I'm not aware of one steel company in the world that will produce more steel for the sole purpose of producing more vanadium, notwithstanding whatever the price of vanadium is. And so the steel producers will produce as much vanadium as what they're planning to do relative to steel production. They will not adjust their production to produce more vanadium. So it's a very inelastic uh, piece of the supply chain. The, uh, the, uh, the secondary uh, recovery processes here, it's basically recovering uh, vanadium from spent uh, catalysts and that type of thing. Again, a, a fairly uh, inelastic portion of the supply chain as well, which then leaves the three primary producers. Uh, there's only three primary producers in the world today that make up 18% of that, that uh, supply side. And those three primary producers are the only ones that can really swing production one way or another to um, you know, try to, to balance the market out. And so it is very complicated when demand is high it's hard to get vanadium production up in a very fast manner. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we're very proud of our, our unit cost of production. Uh, we are the second lowest unit cost producer in the world and uh, continuing to drive that, that down further and further. If we take a look at 2017 statistics for the market in terms of supply and demand, you can see that there were about 80,000 metric tons of vanadium produced, but there was a demand of about 88,000 metric tons. In 2018, the Chinese uh, enhanced some of their regulations concerning rebar and the yield strength required for that rebar. And it's uh, the Chinese uh, position that that change in the rebar standard will likely increase the demand for vanadium by 10 to 15,000 additional tons per year. That standard became effective November 1st, 2018. So we're starting to see that extra demand start coming into the market. So we're anticipating that the supply side really isn't gonna change very much from the 80,000 you see here, maybe it goes to 82,000, maybe 83,000. But the demand side is going up very quickly. So instead of 88,000 tons of demand like we saw in 2017, we expect 2019 is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 98,000 to 105,000 tons per year. Again, the supply side not keeping up. So we're anticipating uh, some very uh, strong pricing atmosphere for this product as a result. You can see what the pricing has done. It's shown here on the left. Um, I won't take a whole lot of time to, to explain what we think is going on in the market right now. Bottom line is we think that it's correcting itself again based on the fundamentals of supply and demand and that prices will continue to, to uh, go up uh, as they have done for most of January, most of February. The graph to the right shows where we are in terms of the deficit uh, between supply and demand um, quarter by quarter. And you can see that we are continuing to dig into uh, the, the inventories that are available. And it's our opinion at Largo that there is virtually zero inventory of vanadium available in the world today. Picture at night of the Maricas facility, uh, the mine being off in the, the left-hand side of the chart. You can't really see it in the dark, but uh, the chemical plant you can see in front. Our mine in Brazil, uh, in the state of Bahia, is a tier one asset. We, we have the highest known uh, ore grade being mined in the primary mine today. Um, we have the highest uh, concentrate grade as well as uh, mine ore grade. Um, the recovery of vanadium is something that we have worked particularly hard on for the last two years. 
And we're now seeing very regularly that we are well above 75% uh, recoveries. And our goal as a company is to try to get uh, higher than 80%. Uh, we hope to do that uh, by the latter part of this year. You can see again that we're a very low cost producer and then we produce this very high purity material. And when I first came into the, the vanadium business, you know, my first question was, well, how difficult can it be to go from 98% for the standard grade to 99% for the high purity? And believe me, it is very complicated, very expensive, and difficult to, to obtain. Ours kind of comes out naturally as high purity. We don't have to do anything special. We run uh, the same process flow diagram that everybody else in the world does, but because of that high ore grade, we end up with a very high purity material that can go into those uh, premium applications. I'll skip this slide just because it's, it's basically been covered already, uh, but let's go to our, our production results. You can see that 2018 was a banner year for the company. Um, it was our second year in a row of, of record production, and uh, we're doing it all at a very, very good recovery rate uh, overall and uh, because of some kiln issues we think it's been maybe a little bit lower than what we'd like to see but as we go through the kiln uh, refractory turnaround uh, this month we expect for the uh, recoveries to, to start seeing uh, you know, very high 70s if not low 80 percentile. Very quickly, you can see that the, the revenue side, the cash generated side are all going up and we're all doing this at a very, very stable unit cost of production rate. And that is our, our goal as a company is to continue to strive to be actually the lowest cost producer in the industry. So we'll continue to, to battle that uh, as we go. It is interesting because we are to the point now where it's, it's you know, pennies and nickels that we save per pound now. It's no longer 50 cents or a dollar that we can save on what we do. So it's getting more and more complicated uh, as, we, as we improve. Strategic direction of the company, we are generating a tremendous amount of cash right now. As I've indicated, we are absolutely committed to being debt free by June 1 of this year. And then it's a matter of either spending the, the extra cash on really good uh, capital projects or returning that cash uh, to our shareholders. And we do have one project like to talk about. Uh, it's our guidance for 2019 that's on our web page. So we do have an expansion project that is underway. It was approved by the Board of Directors last April. It will increase our production by about 25 percent. So we'll go from an 800 ton per month design rate to a 1,000 ton per month design rate. We're doing that at a cost of roughly 15 to 18 million dollars U.S. Uh, and that will tremendously increase uh, not only our top line but our bottom line our unit costs also uh, reduce. That's uh, the end of my presentation. Right. Thank I you. I was about to interrupt to you. Take any uh, questions that you so